Hi everyone, it is Nicole Veronica here, back with another video. I hope you're all well and keeping safe. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to choose the right university for you. I've narrowed down some important tips which I think you should all consider when deciding what university you plan to apply for or eventually go to to study and complete your course. I think these are some important things to consider to help you in that process and kind of help you make up your mind and hopefully make your decision process that bit easier. Before I begin, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. It means the absolute world to me, it lets me know I'm doing a good job. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So first and foremost and very, very important, I won't say the most important, but very, very, very important. Does this university do the course that you want to do? It's all well and good just being like, oh, I want to study in Brighton, I want to study in Edinburgh, Liverpool, Exeter. But does the university actually have the course that you want to do that will help progress you in a certain occupation, certain path, certain career? It is best to double check. You've got to double check because sometimes courses do actually become discontinued. If they have a low level of applicants, a lot of universities actually discontinue courses. So you may be looking at chemistry and maths running in 2022, but then you're looking to apply 2023 and they may actually not even do the course. So double check online. And if the course isn't there that you're after, definitely email the university, email them, call them and check because sometimes they may be able to do the combinations for you. If they've had a certain amount of interest, they may be able to actually run that course or they may actually not be showing the course that you wanna do and it's just best you do your research just to make sure that you can find the course you're after. My second point to consider is how far do you want to be away from home? Do you want to be somewhere where you can just nip home if you get homesick or keep up a regular job on the weekend or see your family, if you've got a partner, just popping home to see your friends and family and your loved ones. That is something to bear in mind and have a think of the closest transport links. Are there buses, trains that you can easily get to? Is there parking spots? or parking availability, easy access car parks and things like that if you did want to drive up to university. So definitely consider the distance because as much as it's good to look at the university and to really, really like the course and the area, you know yourself if you do want to actually be far from home. The third point to consider is do you want a city university or do you want a campus university? Now, for those of you who don't know, a city university is a university which essentially is embedded in the city. So you'll have the city and then you'll have lecture theatres, libraries, study centres, cafes dotted all around the city and they vary from distance. Some are really, really close. Some you kind of have to get a bus to get to different campuses or to different buildings. With a campus university, it's almost been described as a little bubble where everything is really really close together it's like your own little university world where it's almost like all inclusive everything's there it's like a little island you do have universities that have a hybrid kind of feel where it is essentially a city university but there's a lot of pedestrianization where it kind of does feel like you're on campus and a lot of the city build a lot of the university buildings are really close to each other and it does feel like you don't have to walk too far just bear that in mind and really really think about the type of university experience that you want the fourth point which leads to the previous points i mentioned was what kind of city do you want to live in? This is your opportunity to experience a new city. You're not really gonna get many opportunities like this. So have a think, do you wanna be by the coast? Do you wanna be in a buzzing city? Do you want a more countryside feel where you're sort of out in the middle of nowhere and you're just sort of in your own little university bubble? Really, really have a think about the city. And if you find a university you're interested in, just have a little Google, have a little YouTube at what the city's like, what the actual experience of living in the city will be like, because that's so important because that will be essentially your home for a minimum of three years. And as much as it's important that you like the course and the university, you've got to like the city because when lectures are finished, you're going to be going to the shops, you're going to be having that 
extracurricular outside experience so you want to make sure that you're going to enjoy it my fifth point which is optional however i know this is important to a lot of people i found it quite important and it helped me decide my university and it's looking at the league tables now you can look at the league tables for a number of different things you can have a number of different approaches to this you can even look whether you're like right i want to see a russell group and i want to see top five for research intensive i want to look at the university that has the highest progression to master's course or best level of employment uh, after graduation it's all those different things to consider you can also go from it for a more course specific approach which is the best university in the UK to do maths in? What has the best certain area or department that you're interested in? So really, really have some time to do some research if that's something you care about. Not everyone cares about that and it's so fine, but if you were kind of trying to weigh up your options and decide what would be the best university for you, I definitely recommend having a look at the different league tables and seeing what does best for your subject at that specific year. My sixth and final point is to go visit that university. We are now in a position where we can visit the university and there is open days. Obviously I know it is not easy access for everyone, especially if you are international or you're working or you've got commitments, but definitely if you have the time, come to an open day or even just email and call and see if you can just visit. Sometimes the universities will just let you visit, come see the departments, speak to the lecturers, speak to the students, really, really get a feel for what it's gonna be like if you were studying. That was all my tips on how to pick the best university for you, the right university. Obviously, sometimes it is trial and error. Not everyone gets it right first, but it is okay. If you try and put the measurements in place and the effort, you can do no wrong to make sure that you've chosen the right decision for you. If you liked this video and enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment down any suggestions below. And if you aren't already, make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.